Chocolate, Giro, 
We thank you, Jesus, for our lives. We thank you for your protection, Lord. We give you all the glory, Jesus. If it was not for your grace, where would we be? Where would we be? 
we give you glory and honor. We lift you high. For us, we are not here. We are here because of you, Jesus. Because of you, Jesus. We are what we are today. We give you all the glory and honor. We praise your holy name. You worship you today. Our Savior, our Savior. You are our Jesus. We give you glory and honor. Come and lead us, O Lord. Come and lead us, O our Jesus. Come and lead us, O Lord. We give you the glory and honor. Come and lead us, O Lord. 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 Come and lead us, Lord. We give you all the glory. We worship you, Jesus. You are worthy, O Lord. You are worthy of all our praise. You are worthy, Jesus. Worthy, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are worthy, Jesus. Thank you, God. O tu bembere tu Jesus yes love I move O tu
Wate na fi bangali yona Watu hisi zamu yona Tukule chitiva mukamu Wango wate na afo kutukule mbibasa Okutu wangusa Okutu wama Okutenda mumaso tukule chitiva mukamu Tuku sinza katonda wa fi Tuku imu saaye mukamu Tukule chitiva na mate Tata tusobola yona All the praise Zabio Nabio Nabio Ever we give you glory, God. We give you glory. We are the Jesus. We are the Jesus. Everything is possible. Where the Lord is, everything is possible. Just meditate upon His goodness. Meditate upon His power. He is able. 
is the king of kings he is your healer he is your God. He is your everything. He is your everything. He is the Alpha. And the Omega. Father, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you honor. King of kings. From the bottom of our hearts. From the bottom of our hearts, we give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. As cornerstone men. As cornerstone men. As cornerstone men. Father, we are on our knees. We are on our knees. We are on our knees. I want all men to go on your knees. I want all men to go on your knees. He is worthy. 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 The Lord of Lords, the Lord of Judah, our Prince, our Prince of Peace, He is in our midst. He is in our midst. We give Him glory. To quench the fever. Glory. To quench the fever. You are worthy, Lord. There's none like You. There's none like You. There's none like You. Thank You, Jesus. Whoever is, Jesus. Whoever is, Jesus. Whoever is. As men are still on their knees, as men are still on their knees, we are going to call upon God. Father, in the name of Jesus, this is the day that you've made. We have a reason to rejoice. To have a reason to rejoice and to be glad in you. Thank you for this, the Lord. Thank you for that people you've brought. For we know as men, you are going to speak to their hearts. You are already at work, Lord. You are already working. We pray that you continue work. We continue move. You continue to move in our lives, Lord. Don't leave us the same. Don't leave us the same. Don't leave us the same. We are your children. We are your people. We are a nation that you've chosen for yourself. That you've chosen for yourself. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you God. We give you glory. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him praise. 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 He's the King of Kings. He's worthy. Give him praise, everybody. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. His love endures forever. His love endures forever. That's why as men, that's why as men, we chose to fall in love. We chose to fall in love. All the days of our lives, we shall always dwell in the love of Christ. We shall always be in the love of Christ. His, His love is eternal. His love knows no boundary. We give Him glory. Let's give Him a mind and clap. Let's give Him a mind. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God, church. I want everybody to get seated. We are going to be sitting in a few minutes, but let's first stand up, all of us. Don't worry, you are going to sit, but let's stand a little bit. We want to take out your opportunity to welcome all of you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for coming. You are our answer to prayer. You are our answer to prayer. You are our answer to prayer. So loud this week, we've been praying for you. You are in the right place. 
in the right time and in the right church in the name of Jesus hallelujah, hallelujah. now this is a special day this, this is a very special day this is a men's day so as men we are supposed to be protective and we are supposed to be responsible so as a responsible men, we are going to first allow ladies to first take their seats. We are going to let ladies to take their seats. Responsible men, make sure that every woman has taken his seat. So every man should stand up. Let make sure that every woman has seated. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, men, let's clap for these ladies. Yeah. We are men who are called to be responsible. <laughs> we have been called to be responsible. And we love you. We care for you. And most Jesus loves you. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then the way we are, let's clap for the team. Let's appreciate the team for the good work. Let's appreciate the team. Let's appreciate the team. As they get seated, as they get seated, then other men can go to sit as well. Other men can get seated as well. We give God a praise. Okay. Hallelujah. I've been a coordinator so many times. But I must admit today, this is one of the tightest programs. This is one of the tightest programs. It is fully packed. Today. It is a fully packed program. And I know you are not going to regret. I know you are not going to regret. The Lord is going to be at work. And we are going to enjoy in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But before I proceed, I want to first take this opportunity to welcome all visitors in this place. If it is your first time to come in this place, can you please raise? It is your first time to be here. Yes, someone is there. We we give God a glory. We thank God for you. In a cornerstone way. In a cornerstone way. We, we shall welcome you with a book. That is an initiative of our pastor. So that is an initiative of our pastor. We always treat our visitors in that way. So if you don't have a church, please make this one your church. If you don't have a pastor, if you don't have a pastor, make our pastor your pastor. Because he's a good pastor. He's a father. He's a man of God. And most he's a sarongo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for that. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, now I know we have been in intense praise and worship. So it will be fair. It will be fair to first relax you with one song. I'm going to relax you with one song. Then, then, then after one song, then I will read some announcements very quick. I'm going to be so quick with those announcements. The reason why I want to begin with one minister, I want all of us to get prepared to note down these announcements because they are very important. If you have a pen, if you have a pen, a pen a notebook, this is the right time to get them out, get them out, and get ready to jot down these announcements because they are very important. So let me hope Mr. Were is ready with the music. If he's, if he's not ready, let me just remind you, let me just remind you, we just had a a merciful or oh, a glorious crusade in Guru. We had a glorious crusade in Guru. It was so powerful. So I'm going to request you. I'm going to request you. All of us. Let's stand up. On behalf of Guru. 
on behalf of Guru and on the people of Guru we are, we are going to lift all the glory to the Nigeria as Corona Sony Church and the King God Almighty and let's all stand up and give God the glory on behalf of Guru let's God we thank you for Guru we thank, we thank you for the testimony Happen. We don't take it for granted. We thank you for Guru. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for being a good church. You can get seated. Wow, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. Because there is no there is nothing good with an active church. I can see that you are active. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. Let's continue to be active in the house of the Lord. Is Mr. Wede ready? Oh, let's give it up for Mr. Wede, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it up for Mr. Wede. In the name of Jesus. Come here, as we. Amen. Amen. Ya wele Simon. Kama hiva zuwe. Oru imba luga amba ndi uwo. Kama hiva zuwe. Ndi uwo yogera ndi uwo. Ndi uwo. Kama hiva zuwe. Singa tori uwe. Covid ya ni kutute mungeri endala. Kama hiva zuwe. Accident sisi tukudeko. Eze ngeri enyingi na ye mkama abade kurudaru wafu. Kama hiva zuwe. Now before Mr. Wede, ministers, njaku saba asha mtu yambe ko. Abantu wa numubagaburi, ngawe ituwa tese tese. Kubanga fetulima maani, abami, abafayo, ili abantu. So, Mr. Wede, nga weleza, njaku saba asha mtu yambe ko. Mugaburi, nga abami, ya tese tese. Amina. Mkama ba omu kisa. Wanjagara Yesu Tunakumina kusimisa Wamitanzi mwana Ia manyi titi uwa Wanjagazi vyo vyo ya gara Mere mungwa no godara Wamitanzi mwana Amani chini uwa kivuko kivuko nzi ne refuka muka muka mbaki. Oh! 
selection of song akayimba kagende de ku kubyo kunywanga abantu basaka hallelujah hallelujah uh, in a special way mukerenja ulo i want to welcome my brother jagalo kwaniza muganda wange my friend mukwano gwange mr bomboka mukuru bomboka well. thank you for coming webale nyo okujja thank you for coming webale nyo okujja Mr. Bomboka and family, Mukuru Bomboka na Makage, we love you. Tukwa, uh, Let's tukwa give a mighty clap to God. Let's give a mighty clap to God. This is a miracle. This is a visible miracle. This is a miracle working here. This is a miracle. We give God a glory. He's a mighty God. He's a miracle working God. Miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. Amen. Thank God for today. He's been good and will always be good. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God. He said that he will be with us amid his deep waters. Amid his fire. And in, in every situation he stays God. He protects us where we go and where we come from. I can't complain in the state that I am because I'm still alive. Many people get accidents. People hit their heads down. And they die instantly. Others get damages on the brain. At that time. 
It's only the leg that got a fracture. There was no car following us. We stayed alive. Amen. Last year the devil has been demanding my life. But God has been faithful. It's been a difficult year. What happened to me had, had happened in September. Christ. On a border border. Then you fall down instantly. Because the devil has demanded my life. I thank Cornerstone Family. You've been on our side and you've loved us. When you heard of what happened to me, the church, the church responded by sending Mr. Kariango. May God bless you. One thank God. As men, we feel that like if you don't go for work, seated at home, the family will starve. I got this accident in December 17th. 7th December. God has been with us. I've seen, I've seen provision from all corners of the world. Praise God. God has been providing even better than when they were still working. Amen. I was home and children had to go back to school in January. But on, but on 10th, all children reported back to school. Amen. Thank God for my pastors. They have been praying for us. morning glory. I thank ministers who come here in the morning glory. You have also been praying. I want to thank all of you. When you heard of this issue of Mr. Bomboka, you have been visiting us and praying for us. May God bless you. Time is tight. I want to thank God for my wife. Wow. She has been there. When you see my legs swing now, I know there was a time I was like a robot, I could not even turn very well. <laughs> Amen. She has been ever. Amen. She could do everything to support me. I thank you, my wife. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's give God a glory. Amen. Amen.
May God bless you. Amen. Amen. Let's give God a mighty hand clap for Mr. Bomboka. As men, we love you. We are glad to see you. How would this day be without Mr. Bomboka? Abia. 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 He encourages us. Supporting and he supports us. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, I want to read these announcements. When the main, the, the, worship, the main team is behind me, because I want us to catch time, so, so, the men are going to be ministering in two songs. But before they minister, I'm going to be reading these announcements. So, I want to read these announcements when you are behind me. Hallelujah. Uh, the first announcement, ladies and gentlemen. Today, at 4 p.m. exactly, all men, we are coming back. We are coming back. We are going to be in our retreat. We are going to be in our retreat. And we are going to discuss everything as men. So our pastor is ready. Our pastor is ready. And the Holy Spirit is ready. So all men are supposed to be, to be here. Today, today evening. At 4 p.m. So all men are supposed to attend. In person. And if you have a friend. Please inform them. They should be part of this. It's going to be powerful. And then next Sunday. Sunday, Dako. It will be 6th of March. What have I said? Next Sunday. Sunday, Dako. Can you repeat after me? Next Sunday. Next Sunday. Sunday, Dako. Next Sunday. Sunday, Dako. 6th March. All ladies. All women. Ladies, are you not excited? It is going to be your Sunday. It is going to be a powerful Sunday. So all ladies, all, all women, I don't know if, if I say ladies, do I isolate? Okay. All women, we are supposed to, to be, we are going to, 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 to minister on Sunday. And so your leader, your leader, has asked me Ansari. to tell you Mbagambe. that when the service ends, service when the service ends at one, service you, are, you are requested to stay behind for, uh, for, for finalizing whatever you are going to prepare. Uh, mu, 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 so, mu, mu, just left to me, ladies, if you are around. After this service, remain behind. Your leader requested for it. That you may get, uh, get prepared. I believe you are writing this down. This is very important. And then 11th March. 11th March. It will be a Friday. It will be a Friday. We are going to have a general overnight prayer. We shall have an overnight prayer here. Everyone is requested to be around. So write down on 11th March. We shall be in this place. With the worship, praise. We shall have them here. In Jesus' name. You are requested to be here. As, as you come in big number, we ask you to come so in on revenue. To we may glorify the Lord. We are finally out. For, for Christ. We are finally out for Christ. So let's come and show that glory. Let's dance. Let's worship. As glorify God. Then lastly, on 15th, the same month of March. I've said 15th. Up to 20th. It will be a gospel crusade in Karure. 
Hallelujah. It's going to be a powerful crusade. It's going to be because the Bible says Bible. God removes us from glory. To glory. What happened in Narua? So what, what happened in Guru? Guru was just the beginning. So we expect more in Karuri. So mark that date. If you have some clothes, bring them. If you have financial support, it is still needed. And God will bless you. I will announce two more. After men have finished to minister. Hallelujah. 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 We bless the name of the Lord. For this privilege as men to minister. We are going to minister Antoine's song. Antoine's songs. Blessing in Philip six, Philippians chapter 6. Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. He who began a good work in you is faithful to accomplish it. We want you to raise up your faith. That what, what was begun in you, the Lord is faithful to accomplish. May the Lord bless Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yefete muwakana yenzo mukobbo Mukama yatandika atera ya maliriza Yekara kara kara ka No reto to the vegetable and eternal Mama, 
Yo ya tu ate amani Mukamba te wali amwikana Oyo yetata wabatali na batata Ate ye mama wabatali na bamama Yo ya tu ate amani Mukamba Ya tandika 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 Hallelujah. Kuvanga Bible gamanti, esanyo ya mukama, gemani, rafe. Hallelujah. Real men love Jesus. True that. Amen. Amen. Kuvanga oli wanongo oli musadi. Tafuta. Ovo oli wanongo oli. If you are a Jewish man, gatoli na ako wenyiki demu weleza. You are not anywhere in ministry. Musomaya da yigiza kumbachana gamanti abasadi ya tuliba zimbi. Kati musajja te waiti wakutuula katiba Waiti wakuweli za katona 
Yes, we are gamba ya bagore abayigirizo abwe nti mungoberere. He told the disciples that please follow me. Kati nafe tuino goberera Yesu. We have to follow Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Olimba luli muzabuli ya 23. The song is Psalms 23. Mwa bamanyi bizabuli ya 23. Those that know Psalms 23. Buja goberira. We will follow. Muri nyere ya Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Olimba luga manti ngude mukwano ne Yesu. We love. Ndi mukafuba ne mukafuba. Hallelujah. Amen. Kati fenga abami. To God the much for what charges to tomorrow. Yeah, and God Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Amen. Okay, be blessed as you listen. May the Almighty. Roll it, man. On my way, Dina, I have my canisa on your feet. I want to see you. Hey. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters to refresh my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness. For His name's sake, even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death. I will feel no evil for thou art with me. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love, yeah. With my Jesus. I'm in love. I'm falling in love with my Lord. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love, I've fallen in love with my Lord, I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love, yeah, with my Jesus, I'm in love, I've fallen in love with my Lord, and I shall break up. You prepared to go before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. Yeah, with my Jesus. I'm in love. I'm falling in love with my Lord. With my Jesus, I'm in love. I'm falling in love with my Lord. Okay, let's play that okay. just a style. Come on. Come on, everybody, that's a style. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in love. 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 I'm in
to come and take us in a moment of giving in and also speak some few words to men. Hallelujah. And we are so grateful to be in this day of men's ministry. The first men's ministry 2022. As we are going to be preparing for our offerings worship session. I want to leave you with the two scriptures about men. Number one scripture is in Proverbs 17 verse 20. Uh, it says a man of perverse heart does not prosper. A man with a perverse heart no cannot prosper. And for that reason, no we are here tuliwano. because we are destined to prosper. And when a man prospers, the wife and children and the neighbors and everything prospers. He continued to say, He whose tongue is deceitful falls into trouble. And because we want to avoid the trouble, that's why we are here. Another scripture, it is in Proverbs 18, verse 10, where it says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it, and they are saved. 
As you preparing your offering, let me read you in that very verse. In a form of a song. The name of the Lord is a strong and mighty tower. The name of the Lord is a real fish for my soul. The name of the Lord is a pillar I can lean on. The righteous run into it and they are saved. The righteous run into it and they are saved. The word of the Lord is a strong and mighty tower. The word of the Lord is a refuge for my soul. The word of the Lord is a pillar I can lean on. The righteous run into it, and they are saved. The righteous run into it, and they are saved. The spirit of the Lord is a strong and mighty tower. The spirit of the Lord is a pillar I can be known. The righteous will into him and they are saved. The righteous will into him and they are saved. May God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we get our offerings, our tithes, our contribution? seed faith planting in the house of the Lord, our ministry contributions, we are still finishing this church. Because we are destined to prosper. We want to shift from this level to another level of prosperity. We want to prosper in the spirit. We want to prosper even as our minds prosper. And also as our environment prospers. In the mighty name of Jesus. Raise up your offering to the Lord. And say with me these words. Say my Lord Jesus. This is my offering because of all that you've done for me this is just a sign of thanksgiving a sign of worship a sign of praise a sign of appreciation that you are greater than all that there is in the world and because of that I am praying that this offering I have may represent much more in your heavenly glory and that I be blessed and my generation be blessed and my heart be blessed and my family be blessed and my works be blessed and my church be blessed and my nation be blessed even my destiny be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus that all the glory and honor be unto you forever and ever in Jesus mighty name Amen. Amen God bless you as you are bringing in your offerings and blessed be that the name of the Lord blessed be the name of the Lord most high blessed be the name of the Lord blessed be the name of the Lord Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it, and they are saved. The name of the Lord is a strong just run into it, and they are saved. The 
On behalf of the men, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome all the first time visitors. If you are a first time visitor, please let me see your hand. God bless you, my sister. God bless you. Let us clap for them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let us once again thank God for the men. Let us clap for them in Jesus' name. And I want to believe that every day ought to be a men's day. Let us clap for them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. After that, I want to thank God so much for all the people who prayed for Guru Mission. Clap your hands in the name of Jesus. Thank you for praying. Thank you for giving in your money. We thank God for the whole team that went. The testimonies are there. May God give you harvest in the name of Jesus. Amen. God Almighty, we thank you. We thank you for your grace, Lord. You have made our hearts glad. You have saved us from tears of our, of our relatives. Thank you for the provision, Lord. We thank you for fighting our battles. Raise your hands and thank God for everything that you remember God has done for you. Don't default him. Even what you have not asked for, God has given us. He has given us more than we've prayed for. Raise your hands and thank Him. Thank Him for your life. Thank Him for your family. Thank Him for the works of your hands. Thank Him for your church. Thank Him for your businesses. Thank God for, your, for the gift of life. Today we are here to praise the Lord. We are here to bless the name of our loving Father. Him that has given us sound minds. Let your living waters flow over my soul. Let your Holy Spirit come and situation that I have troubled my mind, all oh, my cares and burdens unto you, I roll, Father, call upon your Father. Fatherless, Father. husband of widows, Father. we call upon the Father. Father, 
such a day when men are leading. I want us to think deeper about the Father. Some of you have deep, very good memories of your fathers. Some of you have deep but negative memories about fathers. Some of you never saw your fathers. Some don't even know who their fathers are. So I just want to remind ourselves that we have a father in heaven. He'll never abandon us. He'll never say words to break your heart. He'll never ignore you. He's loving, he's faithful. So as we sing about this when we, as we sing about this song again may the father's love heal a broken heart May the Father's love heal scars in your memory that are negative about fathers. Some of the precious ladies, your hearts have been broken by men. But as we sing this song again, may the Father's love heal your wounded heart. May the Father's love erase those scars that you still have emotionally caused by men men you trusted and they abused you men that you trusted and they were not faithful to you men that you, you invested your all in and they disappointed you as you think about the Father, may the Father's love come. Let the Father's love come and overshadow you. Raise your hands before For someone is bleeding right here. And you could even be a man. But men have abused you, your own father abused you. May God heal bleeding hearts today. May God give you a new vision of your heavenly father in heaven. In the name of Jesus, may God heal every scar. Some of you feel lonely and abandoned because of words spoken to you by men. Some of you grew up with stepfathers who did not value you at all. I pray God heals you today. Some of you are cursed by men. Your, your stepfathers. Some of you are abused by your uncles. Some of you are abused by your own brothers. But today on this day, men, I pray the God who heals all those He has not left you alone. That man may have left you. Your father left you. But your father in heaven has not abandoned you. Healing love right now. The love of the Father in heaven. That love of God will heal your marriage. Now we are still. Let us embrace that love. Let us embrace that love of the Father. Embrace that love of the Father.
And Sabaka told her that you will be you will be immersed in that love of God. There are people here, you, you, you have this sense of rejection, nobody likes me. That spirit of rejection breaks now by the love of the Father God. I pray for uncommon favor upon your life. Regardless of who is the Father in heaven has stretched out his He's raising you up. God is baptizing with the spirit of love, you lady. The love of the Father, the love of the Father, the love of the Father breaks rejection. The love of the Father breaks low self esteem. The love of the Father raises you up right now. The Raise up your hands everywhere. God is embracing you where you are. The Father is embracing you with His love. Raise your hands and worship the Lord. If you can speak in tongues, speak in there tongues. There is deep healing going on. Healing, healing going on. Healing of bad memories. Deep inner healing going on in your life. Raise your hands and worship the Lord. Fathers, right in our midst, raise your hands. Where our Father is, I see curses dropping from your life. Curses brought on you by men are breaking right now. In the name of Jesus. Curses are breaking in the mighty name of Jesus. And blessings are coming over your life. Receive the blessing of God. Receive the blessing of God, you man. You never knew the love of the Father. You have never known deep love, even from those that say they love you. You've never known deep love, even from the man that you love, that you married. But God is baptizing you with His love. Raise your hands, receive the love of May God. The blessings of God overtake your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There are people here. There are things that have delayed you to marry or get married. It was because of the distance between you and your father. I break those yokes in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. May God dress you. May God heal your heart. 
Spirit of God who over over your children. Spirit of God who over those who are heartbroken men. Those who had hated themselves, may they love you and love themselves.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Almighty. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Come on, give the Lord a mighty hand clap that he deserves. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Help me tell your neighbor. God loves you. But I'm his favorite. Tell the second person. God loves you. But I'm his favorite. Amen. Say amen. I request you to take up your seat. Men. I thank God for the cornerstone men. Let's clap for them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Clap for them till they take up their seats. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? If you're happy, shout Amen. Amen. I thank God. For our brother Bombak that God has saved him from the battle. 
May God bless you. And Mrs. Bombaka, thank you for standing in for our brother. May God bless you. Amen. Amen. Let's use the next few minutes. We share scriptures. Amen. Amen. Let's go to the book of Ezekiel. We have a few minutes. We have a few minutes. All men must come back this evening. We are going to have a talk as men. Amen. Amen. Let the ushers take that lady behind that she, she may be prayed for behind there. Amen. Ezekiel 30, 22 verse 30. Ezekiel asatu musatu asatu mu abili mu bili abili mu bili onyiro la makumi asatu So I sought for a man among them who would make a wall and stand in the gap before me on behalf of the land that I should not destroy it but I found none Neno nyo muntu mubo anayimi anazimbe bisenge no kimira mu mchituli mu masogange nemo kuzikiriza ensi Amen. 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 We thank God. What amazes me as I read this scripture is how God, the Almighty God, seeks for people and He fails to find them. Now, of course, as a theologian, this word man may not mean male, it may mean all of us, but I want to look at the context of man in the scripture. Okay, Amen. God, in his wisdom, makes choices for us. Nobody chooses to be a male or a female. You didn't choose your gender. Your parents did not choose your gender. God chose, chose your gender. And then he gave us different roles, though all of us are equal. All of us are equal, but we have different roles. Now this word role is what I want to talk about, especially about men. In the morning, our coordinator was asking a question, who is a man? And Brother Bagoli said, what makes a man is responsibility. So what makes you a man is not putting on trousers. Anybody can put on a trousers. It is accepting responsibility. And that is letter R. You'll never be a man or a woman, a real one, if you don't embrace kingdom responsibilities over your life. Later all is having obedient faith. Later The Bible is true in its wisdom. Whatever God talks about man, it doesn't matter your opinion about men. All of us know of a movement I think is it called feminism movement where it says that man and woman are equal and you are true in that. But we differ in responsibilities. So when God says that a man is the head of a woman, God means that. And this doesn't mean that a woman is below a man. It is simply in the roles, man is the head of a woman. It doesn't matter how much money you have. How 
eloquent or educated you are, a oba, man is the head of a home. Oba wa somotia, oba lina sente zenkana zitia, omami ya kulembira maka. Now we have seen it in our politics. When a woman has more influence, more money, the marriages do break. Omu chala wabanga alinechifo, alina sente, obufumo bute lukule merewa. You have seen it in the churches. When, when women are more powerful, they have more influence in church. Marriages still break. Marriages still break. I think the problem is not that the woman has a lot of money we ignore the wisdom of God in his word the problem is women you'll never be men and men will never be women let me hear the, um, the men say amen let me hear the women say amen on a search as, 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 as the men, for the men to minister. To me, it is a great blessing. It is men taking their responsibility. And I pray to God that you men who have ministered powerfully that, that you like keep that. this up. If you're clapping for God, do it better than that. God's glory will only be maximized when all of us play our roles. When God roles. When men are functional, we will have happy wives, happy children. Psalms 128, let us all read verses 1 to verse 6. Amina. Amina. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who, may, who walks in his ways. Verse 2 quickly. When you eat the labor of your hands, you shall be happy and shall be well with you. Verse 3. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the very heart of your house. Your children like olive plants all around your table. Verse 4. Behold, Thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. But if you are a man who fears God, you move in your responsibility. This is what will happen in your house. When you play your roles, the woman is going to be happy. Children are going to be happy. Psalms 144, verses 12 to verse 15. Are we there? Psalms 144, verse 12 to 15. Fenatus, let's read. That our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth. That our daughters may be as pillars. Sculptured in Palestine. Verse 13. That our barns may be full, supplying all kinds of produce. That our ship may bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our fields. Verse 14. That our oxen may be well laden. That there be no breaking in or going out. That there be no outcry in our streets. You cannot imagine the tremendous blessings when a man stands in his place. Our brother has been telling us when he stopped working because of the accident, God did not cease to provide for his family. 
So this excuse of us men, I'm too busy, I am the breadwinner at home, that is an excuse. When you put God first, though you're not working, God shall take care of your no family. Even more than you take care of your family. God's kingdom requires godly men. Psalms 121. God's kingdom requires godly men. When we talk about godly men, it's not showing godliness when we are in church. Godliness means you are godly at home, you are godly on your streets and in the office. Godliness must be everywhere. We have a problem. All of us have secrets. Things we do not want people to know about us in church. Even when we are open about them elsewhere. But God is seeking godly men. Not only in church. But you fear him at all. In your business. In the city. Even amongst the people who know you and those who do not know you. Amina. Psalms 121. What to say? Yes, sir. I will lift up my eyes unto the hill. Where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord. I speak to fell men. You will never live a satisfying life as a man. When you exclude God in the equation of your life as a man. In the Old Testament, one of the greatest judgment of God against Israel was when he removed men from Israel. It was a curse in Israel. When they offended God, when you read Isaiah 3, 1-5, God told them, I'll take away from and you. And I'll take away men from amongst you. So when man is not available for God, that is a curse. Now in the next few minutes, I want to talk about the responsibilities of a man. I'm saying this, even the woman, please be attentive. Every man must be a leader. Every man. When the Bible says that the man is the head, when your head is not working, the whole body is going to be confused. Amina. Number two, men must be lovers. Lovers. Bible to come at men love your wives. Bible to come at the abasajja mo agareba chala ba mo. The way God loved the church. Engeri katunda je ya gare kanisa. When we talk about the issue of love, we are not talking about the issue of sex. That is a tiny part of love. Real love is shown in caring. God so loved the world that he gave. So for you to be a real lover, you must be a giver. That's why I always tell singles. If you're dating someone, but whenever he calls you, he just flashes your beeps. That you may call back. You are dead, run for your life. 
Listen now. Amen. If they cannot give you and they're still dating you, trying to persuade you, think about when they take you back to their homes. They will even sell the clothes you came with. Listen, Abuganda. Amen. So if we say, or oh, when the Bible commands us to love, we must be givers. Amina. Amina. Number three, Echo. men must be protectors. Echo. And I think I'm going to dwell on that more. I was sharing a testimony here. Four years ago, we are coming from Guru. When we passed Karuma Dam, a huge elephant stood in the middle of the road. All the cars had to stop. And then after a while, female elephants crossed the road and then their kids. When they had crossed, that elephant the big one in the middle of the road also crossed the road. If animals have that instinct to protect their wives and children, how much more should we as men be protectors of our wives and our children? I want to tell all cornerstone members when I hear of a man that beats his wife, you are telling us you are not man enough, you are insecure in yourself. Or you are a child of the wife you married, you married them to protect them. It doesn't matter how angry you are. The moment you say, I'm so angry, I must quit you. I'm giving you free knowledge. Collect money. I can even fundraise for you. Go buy a drum. Put it at home. Whenever you are angry, when you feel like beating, go and beat the drum. It is inhuman. Sicha abuntu. For you to get a woman you married at home and you begin to beat them. No tandi ko mukuba. It is a shame for a man to do that. Ochikola. It is a reproach to your gender. Chivume eri obutondebo. You are despising God who made you a man. Because even you, if you made a mistake, and God tells Gabriel, go and slap him in two comma. God is gracious. It doesn't matter how much we anger him. He puts up with us. In the lockdown, lockdown, you heard that terrible statistics. 15,000 underage girls were raped by men. Underage children. Raped by men. 50,000 women. We are battered by men. I want to encourage my fellow men. God has ordained us to be protectors. Quote for yourselves Genesis 14 14. Lot had been kidnapped. Luti Ngawambidwa. Abraham organized. 318 men in his own house. They went and they fought. And they rescued Lord. That is the responsibility of we a man. We are protectors by nature. We are protectors by Amen. I was remembering a humorous experience that I was sharing here. 
Many years tam- ago when we got married with my with my wife. One day in the middle of the night we woke up and the gate was open. So she woke me up. Fred, see what's happening. The gate is open. What is happening there? And I kind of told her that well, we are together in bed. I cannot know what is happening at the gate. She said, you go and close it. In the middle of the night. So I'm thinking, if thanks have moved in, I would be safer staying in the house. But going out there, I don't think I can. But then I remembered I am a man in the house. So I opened the door carefully. Looked here and there. And wherever I saw, I, wherever I looked, I saw a picture of a night dancer. I went out and said, But I managed to go to the gate, closed the gate, came back in the house, and I was patting myself on the back and I was saying, I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm a man. My man. point is, if you are a man in Cornerstone, you are supposed to protect people. There is one pastor who said in the church that I passed. If I hear any man beating a woman in Ukraine, I will take that man to police and I will imprison them. I will take that man to police and I will imprison them. The real emphasis is here. Men of Cornerstone. God has called us to be leaders, to be lovers, to be protectors. Regardless of how it is not too late to change your lifestyle. When you are angry, don't beat. When you are angry, don't abuse. Find ways of talking things through. Don't embarrass your wife publicly. Don't compare your children, your wife, with your neighbors. Joseph had a problem in the Bible. Matthew chapter 1 verse 19. Mary is pregnant. What is Joseph going to do? Verse 19. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, not wanting to make a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. Now this is a man. This is a man. I said this is the man. In his mind, Mary has messed up. But because he feared God, he did not tell everybody how bad Mary is. She has disappointed me. Look at her. She's a prostitute. He minded, I mean in his mind, he was going to leave Mary secretly. And God rewarded him abundantly. Men, when women disappoint you, keep that yourself. Don't go and tell everybody how much she's a, she's a, she is a prostitute. Because you want to, to, to defend yourself. That so you want the whole world to know that, that lady is bad. She's an adult. And she's even what? if she is, it is not your responsibility to make it public. As a man, you must be a protector. And when you play your role before God, God will always reward you. God will always bless you. If you walk in your responsibility as a man, 
Someone say a better amen. Amen. Every man who ignores his role as a man before God is a disgrace. And I'm not saying that there is a perfect man. Women, you did not marry perfect men. They are as imperfect as you are. are. Now what I've been saying, it concerns you as a woman. When you see that your man is lacking, your responsibility is not to compare him to the man on the neighborhood. Or to tell the public, oh, that man is the, he, 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 he's not man enough. We must protect each other. Clap your hands in the name of Jesus. When we play our roles as men, we build strong families. We have seen the reproach on the church. Prominent men and women of God, they have issues on public media. People holding news conferences to tell the world how bad their spouses have been. That is not godly. I'm not judging anyone, but that is not godly. Sometimes when people misunderstand each other, they, they prefer to take their cases to unbelievers. You hear it from LOC. Pastor, these people say they pray Do you know anything about their cases? And you are green about everything. Now the Bible says, if you who are born again cannot forgive, if you, who are going to judge the angels, if you get issues in your midst, why don't you go to fellow believers? And the problem here is, people want to maintain their reputation in the church. They say, if I go to my pastor and I tell him I've been unfaithful to my wife or to my husband, he will look at me not the way he used to look at me. So I'd rather go to an unbeliever somewhere and settle my case there. That is not godly. The way I see you is not the way but the way God sees you matters. Slap your hands in the name of Jesus. So when things go wrong, God has given us the wisdom in the Bible how to heal our marriages. People are hurting. I get so many calls from people that watch our media. Men, I think it was last week, week a, wet day. a woman had a C-section. C C C C She's still in pain, having a baby. And the man ran away. The man ran away. She's in pain. She has a baby. The man is not in the picture. I want to wind up by talking to my fellow men. We are accountable to God. Ecclesiastes 12, verse 13 to 14. Every man will be accountable to God. Every man will be accountable to God. Ecclesiastes 12. Verse 13. Are we there? Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God. Keep his commandments. For this is man's all. 
This is man's all. To wind up everything. Fear God. Keep his commandments. Because this is the requirement of men. So as men of Cornerstone, this is my prayer for you. May God give us to grace. To fulfill our responsibilities as men. Leaders of Lovers, protectors, let me finish with providers. As men, God has called us to be providers. Then God will give us the grace to provide. It doesn't matter how much money your wife earns. It doesn't matter how much you earn. It doesn't matter how much you earn. You must always provide out of what you have. Amen. Amen. A woman may choose not to show you her money. Don't turn that into a fight. Don't fight over her money. She's there to help you. And women also know. You shouldn't say, let me wait for him when he, he wants my money. He's not getting enough money. Let me Play wait for him. your role as well. You shouldn't say this is money. If it's borrowing, borrow. you add a man at home. If we are one, we must share responsibilities. Your neighbor. Enough if you cannot provide for your family. Proverbs 24, verse 17. Amen. 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 Make it fit for yourself in the field. And afterward, build your house. You cannot provide if you are not a diligent worker. Or sometimes I stumble on these programs of, of Vanonia on TV. Uh, have you ever seen them a young man comes I'm, I'm searching I want a woman who has a car with a house who is educated how educated are you that does not concern you for me I want an educated woman and this is a curse among so many young people do you get the point? If it's a young lady, she wants old men who have made their money. Before you meet whoever is going to marry you, establish yourself as a profitable lady. If you can go to school and study, study. If it's working, work hard. No man is looking for women to marry and, and help like a charity organization. Huh? That's why men say, just help you, you had nothing because you were lazy before you got married. Establish yourself as a single lady. Look for opportunities like you never marry. The that when a man comes and wants to propose to you, they will not deceive you with the fish, chips, and chicken. 
dump you like a toilet paper. Do you know that the lady married yes, is able Clap your hands in the name of Jesus. And so as young men, let us have, have, have diligent hands. If it's working, let us work. Because work is a blessing from God. Amen. Let me talk about the issue of faithfulness in marriage. When you do not honor God, you can never honor your wife, you can never honor your husband. If you do not respect God, it will be difficult for you to respect a fellow human being. Respect begets respect. That's why I think when there is a, a prolonged misunderstanding between a man and a wife, the, the problem could always be there is a fracture in the relationship the man has with God or the wife has with God. That's what when you stay in a prolonged kind of conflict, chances are one of you has a relationship with God that is broken. And that's where unfaithfulness comes in. That's when you begin to become secretive. And that's why you begin to you begin to admire other men or women because your own you don't respect. I wind up with these ladies and gentlemen. I pray that God will build this church with faithful men, with reliable men, with faithful men. And it's my prayer to the women too. Kala tauli dega mati amina. Amen. Amen. Man is a protector. Deuteronomy 24 verse 5. Uh, Men were supposed to go to war to protect the nation. The only excuse was if you were married, you were excused for a whole year. Because it's not important to go and protect the nation and you have left your wife not protected. So they had a honeymoon of a whole year but after that you are supposed to go to war. Do you know that men as protectors must always reject ungodly values in their homes? Psalms 101 verses 3. Let us stand up and read and then we are going to pray. Verse 8. We are protectors. We are lovers. We are leaders. We are providers. If there has been an issue in your family, because nobody can say I fulfill all this it is not too late for you to rise up as a man or as a woman if you have lost your credibility because what you have done to your wife or your children the God who has left you alive wants you to begin afresh to be a leader to be a lover, to be a protector, to be a provider. Verses 3. Psalms 101, verse 3. I will set nothing wicked before my eyes. 
I hate the work of those who fall away, you shall not cling to me. That's a godly man saying now. Verse 4. A perverse heart shall depart from me. I will not know wickedness. I will not know wickedness. Verse 5. Whoever secretly slanders his neighbor, him I will destroy. This is now a man speaking. The one who has a hotel look and a proud heart, him I will not endure. Verse 6. My eyes shall be on the faithful of the land. That they may dwell with me. He who walks in a perfect way, he shall serve me. Verse 7. He who walks deceit shall not dwell within my house. He who tells lies shall not continue in my presence. Uh, verse 8. I will I destroy all week, the wicked of the land that I may cut off all evildoers from the city of the Lord. These are words from a man. I pray God will help us. If you're a man and you're here, the first week of next month, take your wife out. That hand clap is very feeble. Even if she has been taking you out every day, take her her out. out. I'm, I'm instructing all men. You have, you have served the church, thank you very much. Take your wife out. <laughs> Amen. If she does not want to go out, go and buy and bring takeaway. Bring takeaway for her. I don't mean posho that you are going to buy the whole fried chicken. If you cannot finish it, call me, I will come and help you. Men say amen. Men say amen. Out. Take your wives out. You who have been beating your wives and abusing them, stop immediately. And there is a saying of hell. Women have a saying that if your husband does not beat you, you can't know if he loves you. Have you ever heard about that? She will do everything and that a man will slap her. If you are, you are looking for a slap from a cornerstone man, you will not see it. Amen. Men come to the pulpit, we worship the Lord. In Jesus' name. Lift up your hands in the name of Jesus. I pray God helps us. Men, women, children. That we may all play our roles in life. If we do that, we will live satisfied lives. We thank you, Lord, for your grace. I thank you for every man in church today. Thank you for using their lives. We surrender to you as men, O oh Lord. In ways that you have avoided responsibility, have mercy. We ask for forgiveness, Almighty God, for not being builders or people that stand in the gap as you ought. Where we have not been leaders and lovers and protectors and providers as we ought to be, forgive us, O God. And Lord God, we pray for all the ladies that you've brought in our lives. Help us to be real men before them. 
We pray for your grace, Almighty God. As men help us not to manipulate women, not to abuse women, not to despise women. Help, O God, for us to know that all of us are called heirs of the promises of God. Help us build faithful families. Help us build exemplary families to those who are not born again. God Almighty, whenever there are men who made mistakes in their families, we dedicate our families before you, O oh Lord. We call unto you, come and heal families. Bring back faithfulness, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for whoever has come for the service. Some of them have a negative picture about men. They have been hurt. They have been disappointed. They have been abused. They have been stolen from. But we pray to you, Lord. May you heal our sisters. Take away the reproach, Almighty God. Those men who treated them. May they not rejoice as they see our, our sister. Be their husband, be their father, be the God of our sisters. Lift them above everything that they have for you in the name of Jesus. I pray for every woman who has opened their eyes, Lord, that they may discern all fake men that come to them. And you bring faithful men like. It's my prayer for them. Lord. May you be their God in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for every man in church. As you lifted Joseph in the Old Testament, and you lifted Daniel in the Old Testament, and you lifted Paul in the New Testament, and you lifted Timothy in the New Testament, you lift all men in the same way, even beyond the Lord. May they prosper in the world. May they prosper spiritually. May they have upright hearts. May they be worshippers. May they be ministers. Thank you, Jesus.
restoration hovering over us especially to my sisters who have been hurt by men those that were used as ladders by men and once they got what they wanted they kicked you away Those that are still nursing wounds. Because of what men did in your life. I want you to you to know today. God is restoring your life. Whatever a man took away from you. I want to tell you God is restoring what you cannot even handle. Trust him. My sister, no God has started a work. You will not be ashamed. Whatever picture that he painted of you as he was leaving you, God has reversed that. Because We thank you for your grace, Lord. Thank you, Lord Almighty. In Jesus' name. Raise your hands and clap to the Lord. Clap your hands unto the Lord. Thank you, Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord be gracious to you. May the countenance of the Lord shine upon you. Raise your hands, we share the word of grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all. And all the brethren, now and forever. Amen. 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 Before you go, give me two minutes. Men, you're